Food for thought to help your overall crypto portfolio. If the bottom is in on both traditional markets and Bitcoin, you're getting ready to see a lot of triangles everywhere. And I'm going to show you what those triangles look like and how to put them on your chart for both SPX and Bitcoin. And this will overall help you in your decision making with what you're doing in your crypto portfolio, as opposed to giving guidance for short term trading decisions. Are you ready? Let's get it. This is the SPX 500. This is the all time high. You have a major trend line formed. The bottom of the consolidation period going up to the top and after the top before the big breakdown is here. So it forms a triangle, right? This is not the triangle that I'm going to be talking about. However, if this bear market rally, which as right now I'm labeling it as such, if this is in a going to end up being a true reversal, there is a 100% hit rate that the daily 89 will be hit at some point before continuation uh, to the upside. All right. It's already overextended. It, it's, it will be hit at some point, you know, in the next month or so, if history of the last 40 years repeats itself. But here is the massive triangle, and it's going to be pretty similar to what's happening on Bitcoin. I'm going to throw on the daily 89. And what I'm expecting to happen if it's a bear market rally is something to this effect. But if the bottom's in, look what's getting ready to happen per this line and this EMA that needs to be hit. This EMA, as opposed to going down, instead of going down, it will go like this. And what else will provide that double support is the weekly Ted EMA, which is going to start coming in line with this as well. And what is price going to end up doing? It's going to, ta -da, it's going to bounce around in this area saying when it hits its head on this trend line from the all time high, can't get above, can't get above. So it comes back down. Then it touches the daily 89. I won't go below, won't go below, comes back, can't get above, can't go below. And it's going to form a triangle and then bust out. And this could be as early as uh, oct early October or very late September. So if the bottom is in, I do think the daily 89 will be hit, but it's going to stay above it, form a triangle and bust out of this uh I guess descending trend line later, it's going to have to go sideways. Bitcoin, very similar type of stuff. I'm going to go to a clean chart on Bitcoin and I might want to do the weekly chart. I'm going to take off all EMAs outside of the weekly 10. Check this out. Let's take off price. See the weekly 10 approaching this orange, uh, this origin line down here, I can't make it hone in on it, but the orange line. So I have one orange line up here, another orange line. So they're, they're this it's origin line similar to these, but it's the master origin line zone, uh, which used to be the macro bottom area. So look at check. Take a look at this. Boom. 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 A triangle formed as the red EMA or the weekly 10 approached an origin line, put price back on kablam. See that? See how long it moves sideways? That's 80 days. All right. Now take a look at what happened here. Red line approach this. This one didn't form the perfect triangle because it dipped down much lower because uh, you had coronavirus dip it. I mean, it just capitulated. But the very next week, what did it do? It came inside of a triangle right around the origin line as the red approached it. Making sense so far. Now let's see what's happening on current price. Let's take price, actually price off. The red line is going to be approaching this origin line down here. You make a triangle, boom, boom, bada, bing. And the weekly 10 EMA is going to continue marching sideways here. We make that red, put price back on, boom. Then that is essentially saying that you're going to come test this at some point, maybe even staying above 20K. So if I put a pin in that and, and show you what the price is there, hopefully, there we go. 
maybe there we go so that's still over 20k and it's and so that would essentially have bitcoin so let me zoom into something like the four hour chart so i can draw better lines so essentially what might be ready to happen is bitcoin comes down here boom can't get above can't get above and then sprouts out and that rough so let's say right here that's october 9th early october the stock market is indicating a little bit earlier somewhere closer to late september but between these two lines this is when bitcoin uh, could potentially resolve itself to the upside well let's actually make it more like this and guess what bottom fits within there if i take a fractal check this out watch maybe let me zoom in a little bit more and try that my fractal work wasn't wasn't rocking and rolling and that's the right size perfect okay zoom out and let's check let's look how this fits watch so let me get the drop about the same size so from here to there about there and after it hits this line what does it do it comes back to touch this line comes back to uh, essentially have a failure pattern above the weekly 10 comes down to support on this origin line and then bust out and when is it busting out of the triangle right between these lines and i only stretched it up and down so i didn't stretch it sideways i just made it so the top uh the, the essentially the drop was the same size and this is suggesting potential breakout around october if the bottom's in but if the so i did an earlier video about if the bottom's in there are four ways it could look like and i made you know i picked my two favorite ones honestly this is probably going to be my favorite one. i think it's got to come back down and test this line as the weekly 10 is starting to get close to it it's going to have to put in some sideways essentially all of september up and in uh, possibly into october and this is the shape that bitcoin is extremely likely to take if the bottom's in both on spx and on bitcoin there is one uh nuance to this this i don't know if this gives bitcoin enough time to separate in a bullish sense from the stock market because bitcoin has been separating from s p 500 in a bearish sense s p goes up you know three percent a day bitcoin goes nowhere um, i don't think this gives uh s p enough time so it, if this is going to happen, that also means that I need to be incorrect about the uh, traditional markets in regards to that the bear market rally is over and you need to start going sideways slash down uh, with one more potential spike up uh, within about three to four weeks. All right. And then uh, start heading down throughout. I mean, the remainder of 20, uh, late 2022 into deep into 2023. I think this, uh, bear, this bear market is not near over. I think it's going to extend to 2023. But if I'm wrong, this could happen because I was wrong. And the SPX and traditional markets actually are in a reversal as opposed to a bear market rally. But if all that's true, then that's what it's going to look like. But I would not give my hopes up for if S&P, if I'm correct about S&P, then this can't happen is what I'm saying. It doesn't give Bitcoin enough time to separate in a bullish sense from the stock market. But these are the triangles I just put on the, the weekly 10 EMA, draw a triangle on both these. And this should help you uh, over the next month and a half make adjustments to your overall crypto portfolio strategy, whether you're going to try to DCA way down lower or if now's the time to uh, rock and roll because we're off to the moon. I think this triangle is what you need to be looking at. Uh, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor, but these visuals should be super simple. And I hope it offers you a little bit of uh, guidance in a macro and uh, portfolio sense as opposed to trading decision making on short-term timeframes. You just got Timified worldwide. Peace.